Good morning, Northtown, and welcome to our Monday show. I'm Sarah Ragsdale. And I'm Michael Foster. Today is Monday, November 18th, and coming up today, we'll bring you What's Buzzing Around Northtown, do a Hornet shout out, Today in History, Poll Question, get you ready for your week ahead. All on NTV News. Let's get started with a look at what's buzzing around Northtown. Attendance recovery and after-school tutoring has started. It will be held every Tuesday from 2.40 to 4.30. There will be a late bus, so pick up a bus pass from South Campus, Ms. Schwartz in B, or Ms. Allen in Norclay before 4th Block if you need transportation. Seniors taking the seal of bioliteracy pretest tomorrow, November 19th, are to report directly to Gym 3 by 7.43 a.m. You will be excused from your 1A advisory and 2A classes that morning. Remember to bring your charged MacBook and headphones with a microphone as you will be speaking and recording. Please look at the email sent by Dr. Lauer on Thursday, November 14th. It has very important information about setting up your computer and taking the pretest. Credit recovery courses on launch that need to be posted for first semester credit for eligibility or graduation must be complete on December 20th. This is the last day of attendance for first semester. All other recovery courses will continue into second semester. Tickets for the Mary Poppins Wednesday advisory show will be available during lunch today and tomorrow. Tickets are $3. When purchasing a ticket, Students will receive a pre-absence form. This must be filled out and turned into Ms. Schwartz at the A-Wing attendance desk. Ms. Schwartz will, be give, or will give students a blue pass that will get them out of class the day of the performance. The performance will be from 8.50 until the middle to end of third block. Reminder, there will be no ticket sales on Wednesday, the day of the performance. Northtown Theater Association presents Mary Poppins. Come see the inaugural show this week. These students have been extremely hardworking in the new space to ensure an amazing performance. Evening performances are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. There is also a Sunday matinee at 2 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and $8 for adults. NHS is sponsoring a pet supply drive now through December 6th. Donations have been low so far, so here is more information on how you can donate. NHS is running a pet supplies drive. Donations will go to Casey Pet Project, Wayside Waves, and other local non-kill shelters. Overall goal is to um, donate um, various items. You can donate things like bowls, um, food, kitten milk, supplements, basically anything that you think a pet would need, even just toys. But for cleaning products, um, such as Clorox bleach, Clorox wipes, um, paper towels, latex gloves, basically anything cleaning-wise. Collection bins are on each floor in B building, and there is one bin near the entrance of Norclay. Winter is coming, and that's a very dangerous time for many animals. The drive has been extended to December 6 due to low donations. We're really looking for more donations, and it's very easy to donate, and our shelters really need a lot of help. There's always someone who deserves a shout out at Northtown. And this week, we want to give a shout out to our Hornet football team on their outstanding performance this season. Our Hornets went 9-2 and this year and made all of us proud, making it to the district championship two years in a row and, coming, er, and becoming back-to-back -back conference champions. Congratulations on a great season. Today in history, on November 18, 1928, Mickey Mouse appeared in the Steamboat Willie cartoon for the first time. According to Roy Disney, Walt Disney was inspired to create a sound cartoon after watching the show The Jazz Singer. Disney created cartoons starring Mickey Mouse in secret while working on other series. 
However, the first two Mickey Mouse films produced, Plain Crazy and The Galloping Gacho, failed to impress audiences. Disney believed that adding sound to the cartoon would greatly increase its appeal. In the episode, Mickey drives a riverboat, suggesting that he is the captain. He cheerfully whistles Steamboat Bill and sounds the boat's whistle. Soon the real captain, Pete, appears and orders Mickey off the wheel. Up to this point, Disney was on the brink of bankruptcy, but bet it all on a mouse. His movie opened at the New York's Colony Theater on November 18, 1928, a date that would become known as Mickey's birthday. The audience demand for Steamboat Willie was so strong that two weeks after its premiere, Disney re-released it at the largest theater in the world, the Roxy in New York. This eight-minute movie launched an entire empire. Speaking of Disney, last week Disney released a new streaming service with all of its movings, including Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar. For this week's poll, we want to know, will you get Disney Plus? To respond, look for an email from Mrs. Dollinger. And there's our show for today, Northtown. For photos and announcements, you can find us and like us on Facebook at NKC Journalism. To find more NTV episodes and videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NTV at NKCHS. And to stay up to date on everything that's buzzing around Northtown, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News. Thanks for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. And as always, it's a great day to be a Hornet.